up, Loop community? My name's Edge. I'm a Logic Pro certified trainer. And in this session, we're gonna pick up where we left off in producing our custom track in Logic by working with tracks. Let's get started. Okay, so now that we've added our song into Logic and we've created different markers as, to serve as a guide for our song, now we can start producing sounds around this as a scratch track. At the beginning of the project, we were asked to uh, choose a software instrument track, and so that's why we've got this dark swell pad here. But if we want to create a new instrument, we're just going to hit the plus button here at the top left-hand corner. That'll give us that same window again, and we can choose which software instrument we want to work with. And there's a ton that come built with Logic. So different types of synthesizers, different types of samplers, different types of drum machines, uh, and you can download a bunch more on the internet as well. For now though, I'm just going to start with an EXS24. I'll make sure the library opens so I can choose some different presets. Great, so I'll head over to Factory. And you can see there's different types of sounds. So if I wanted a piano, for example, like a Steinway Grand Piano, I can select it and it'll give me different sounds. Great. Uh, I can scroll over to the left to choose some other sounds. So I've got different types of synthesizers, for example, like synth gated synths. What's this hybrid pitch rise sound like? It's pretty neat. <laughs> but what I'm really interested in is I'm actually interested in drums and percussion. Um, so I'll go ahead and select a electronic drum kit. We'll do this EXS808. All right, pretty good. So I like that sound, but what I actually want to do is that I'm going to kind of start layering this kit sound all together. So one sound might be a, a kick, and maybe I want a different set of tracks for like a snare and a different set of tracks for a hi-hat, and maybe a different set of tracks for the toms themselves. This is a pretty common technique when building out drum sounds. Rather than having everything in one kit, you can actually create different types of sounds. So great, I've got a pretty solid sound. But what I want to do is I actually want to bring out the qualities of that sound a little bit more. And so in order to kind of dress up this sound a little bit more than, than what currently comes with it, within each channel strip, we can kind of start riffing off of this, this sound and building out better sounds on top of it. Within each channel strip, we can actually start bringing out the best of what's currently coming through this sound. Right now, I've got my stock, you know, EXS 808 kit. And that's all right, but what I can do is I can actually start carving out a little bit more. So underneath the audio effects section, I'm just gonna go down to my dynamics and I'm gonna choose a compressor. And so with compressors, what we actually get uh, are some really great sounding uh, studio style compressors that are gonna treat the sound a little bit different. And what a compressor does is that it takes the overall sound and it makes everything quieter, which means that it makes all of the really loud parts a little bit quieter. And then that allows the rest of your sound to get pushed up a lot louder. So that means that all the nuances, all the small details in the sound can actually get elevated while all the really loud overpowering sounds get reduced. And that gives us a little bit more flexibility and a little bit more of the actual sound itself being pushed through your signal. So compressors are really great. And the compressors in Logic have different styles of compression. And so we'll play through a couple of them so you can kind of hear what that sounds like. All right, pretty good. Uh, let's try this vintage VCA. All right, maybe this vintage FET. Yeah, maybe classic VCA. I like that. That's a pretty good sound. And there's a bunch of other settings in here that we can kind of work with to kind of bring a little bit more out of the actual sound itself. One thing, for example, is this input output, this uh, wet mix. You can actually set how much of the compressed signal you want to hear uh, versus the original signal. So if I set input, that's what the original signal is. If I send it all the way to output, so you can see it sounds a little bit different. And you can also uh, set this as one for one, so you can hear both the original and the compressed signal. Hey, it's pretty good. 
Now, the other thing that we're also gonna wanna look at is the EQ in here. So um, every Logic channel strip has an EQ built in and, and you can play around with whether you want EQ to be first in your signal or second in your signal. I'm gonna go ahead and put EQ first by just clicking on EQ and that'll kind of open up a visual uh, EQ window for us to work with. Uh, and if I go ahead and play, you can kind of see what signals are actually coming through uh, and visually see it. You can see when I play the hi-hats, there's a little bit more of a signal coming in at the right hand side of the screen. And when I play the, the kick, you can see there's a lot of low end coming down here at the bottom, at the left hand side. And so uh, again, you can play around with these. If you want to put the EQ first, you can just drag it on top of the compressor. And then you can play around with what signals you actually want to bring out a little bit more. And I think I want a little bit more high in that just so that it cuts through. So I'll just use the EQ to, to bring out more of those highs. Cool. And uh, I have a feeling that that low end is gonna be a little too low. So I'm just gonna bring a little bit of that low end down. just to tighten up the drum sound altogether. So that's basically uh, creating a channel strip and setting up different settings for that. Now, if I wanted to repeat this channel strip in a different part, you could just duplicate the track. You can hit the little duplicate button right over here, and that'll give me a brand new uh, channel strip with the exact same settings. Great, so that's how we can start building channel strips inside of Logic. Um, start with an instrument and then use the inserts, use the effect plugins to actually start bringing out the best qualities of that sound uh, or dressing it up using other plugins that we'll get into later on in the series. Next up, we're gonna start recording the tracks that we just made.